In this screencast, I'm going to talk about how to add a VLAN to a Ruckus ICX750 switch. And this tutorial is really meant for folks who are trying to learn about how to uh, add VLANs on these types of switches. So it's very, it's designed to be beginner friendly and have a, a beginner approach. So the first thing I do is I map out what the plan is. So in this case, I have port 34 on my switch. I'm gonna log into it and then I write out my commands and, and what what the goal is with those. And that just helps me remember the workflow before I go in and just get better at committing these to memory. In, in my role, I, I might program, do a bunch of switch programming in, or configuration uh, work in, in one week, and then I might not do it for six months. So I'm uh, brushing up on this stuff quite often uh, at lengthy intervals. So in this case, we have a phone. So I've logged into this switch and I've run the show VLAN. So I typed SH space VLAN and ran enter. And then I'm looking for uh, port 34. And I can see that that number 34 shows up on my VLAN one. And I don't see it in VLAN 10. I don't see it in VLAN 20. I don't see it in VLAN 70 or VLAN 100. So we wanna get it into VLAN 10 as untagged, that's that's the way in, in this networking environment we manage phones. Uh, another fun to know is with these switches, they're, the, the power's on at the port, so it's, it's not like a, say uh, an extreme switch or where that's not always the case. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable my privilege commands. I'm just using tab completion, so I typed E in and then tab type my username type my password and now I'm in this privileged command mode so I'm just going to be following this command sequence here on this uh, Google document so now I'll do a config tab trm tab so that now I have configure terminal and I really do like that tab completion because it uh, helps me with the spelling and it lets me know I'm getting the sequence of a command correct. So now I'm in the configure terminal uh, mode and, and next I can enter my, my VLAN. So uh, which VLAN do I want to configure? 10. So we'll do VLAN 10. Now I'm in VLAN 10. Now in this case, we want it untagged. So we'll go untag. Ethernet one slash one slash three four, and then I'm not going to go into what the one slash one slash three four means in detail. Uh, you can RTFM that if you need to. Just know for this tutorial, that's how I'm programming this specific port number three four on the switch. So I'm going to press enter, and it's writing added ports uh, Ethernet 1 slash 1 slash 3 4 to VLAN 10 so we'll go ahead and check that by doing show VLAN one more time and here we go we can see that 34 is now untagged on VLAN 10 uh, along with ports 3 1 3 2 3 3 and 3 4 on the switch side in the physical environment, I typically use cables that are all the same color, at least I try to, for uh, the this switch arrangement. So there's just like more of a visual pattern there. And then of course I document everything uh, in a spreadsheet. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and write the memory. And there's a quick command to do this, but I like the, the old style. And, and now that's done. So I can go ahead and log out. So 
we got clean pipes and and now I'm ready to go work in the physical environment on getting this phone connected hope that helps uh, thanks for watching bye